Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the left side third level dish rack track on your Whirlpool dishwasher. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool dishwasher brands, including KitchenAid, Maytag, Genair, Amana, and more. The third level dish rack track supports the third level dish rack and helps it glide in and out of the dishwasher smoothly. If the part fails, the track may not glide smoothly and the ball bearings may fall out of the track. If you need to purchase a new third level dish rack track for your Whirlpool dishwasher, you can check out our website, partsactor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, you'll need to remove the dishwasher from beneath the countertop. First, disconnect the power to the dishwasher. If your dishwasher has a power cord, unplug the dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to turn off the power at the breaker before disconnecting the wires in the terminal box, which is located underneath the dishwasher. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink, plumbing, or garbage disposal. Then, feed the drain tube and power cord through the holes in your cabinet as far as they'll go. Next, turn off the water shutoff valve for the water supply line. Then, remove the access panel on the bottom of the dishwasher by undoing the retainers. Place a towel or sheet pan under the dishwasher to catch any water that may leak. Now, disconnect the water supply line from underneath the dishwasher. Leave the drain tube attached. Next, open the dishwasher door and remove the screw securing the dishwasher to the countertop. If your dishwasher is side mounted, remove the screws from the cabinet, which may be located behind the cabinet seal or behind the plastic cap on the side of the dishwasher. You may need to lower the dishwasher's leveling legs if it is too tight against the countertop. Now, slide the dishwasher out from underneath the countertop, being sure to feed both the power cable and drain tube through the holes in the cabinet. Now, open the door, being careful as the dishwasher is front heavy and will likely tip forward. Then, fully extend the third level rack. The rack is held in place by an end cap on either track. To remove it, flip the end caps to the open position. Lift up on the front of the rack to clear the first set of wheels. Then, pull the rack forward until the second set of wheels align with the opening and lift it up and out to remove. Now, while supporting the track from the inside, remove the two screws holding it in place using a 5 16 nut tracker. If you need to purchase a new left side third level track, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. Note that the left third level track is designed differently and has a different part number than the right third level track. When replacing this part, be sure to purchase the correct side. Additionally, if you are replacing both sides, you'll need to purchase both unique parts. To install, align the new track to the dishwasher's housing so that the end cap faces the front of the dishwasher. Then, reinstall the two screws. To install, extend both tracks, align the rack's rear set of wheels to the openings in the tracks and set the wheels in place. Then, slide the rack back, align and insert the second set of wheels. Now, flip the end caps into the closed position, push the rack back into the dishwasher and close the door. To reinstall, begin by laying the water line on the floor so that it is in line with the inlet valve. Then, tape it down so it remains in place when sliding the dishwasher. With the dishwasher near the cabinet, feed the drain tube through the hole located towards the top of the cabinet and feed the power cord through the lower hole. Now, push the dishwasher back a few inches underneath the countertop and continue feeding the drain tube and power cord into the cabinet. Repeat until the dishwasher is in place. With the dishwasher door open, align the holes in the mounting brackets with the pre-existing screw holes under the countertop or with the screw holes in the cabinet if using side mounting brackets. You may need to extend the dishwasher's leveling legs to ensure a tight fit against the countertop. Then, reinstall the two mounting bracket screws. Now, reconnect the water line to the water inlet valve located on the bottom of the dishwasher. Then, reinstall the access panel by aligning and inserting the retainers and securing in place. Reconnect the drain tube to the sink plumbing or garbage disposal. Now, plug in your dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to reconnect wires in the terminal box and restore power by flipping the breaker. Then, turn on the water valve. Finally, test the dishwasher and check for any leaks. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.